All right. Uh, what we'd like to do is teach you how we um, started uh, posting information to uh, with our students and for our students. Um, and we used a service called Blogger, B-L-O-G-G-E-R. Let's Google that right now. Um, Blogger is a uh, free, um, free, free online journal, which is uh, it's custom made similar to a web page, in which you can post information, you can post videos, you can post messages, you can post links, um, and students will actually have a web address that they will have that's available to them so that they can find your information. So what we're going to do now is we're going to create a free blog. Um, if you'll note, it's part of the Google Suite. So you can see that um, if you know where to find Blogger, if you have a, you need to have a, a Google account in order to create an account. So if you haven't done that, please do so now. All right, now we're back. Now we're going to go to uh, Blogger. And in order to create a new blog, what you're going to do is you're going to just select the new blog button, which I'm highlighting right there. Uh, once you've uh, selected the new blog, what you're going to do is you're going to just come up to a page that looks similar to this. Now, what you want to do is you want to title your, your blog, and you, you do that here. And obviously what you want to also do is collect a web address. So normally you'll just keep the same, um, the same name, but if a name is taken for whatever reason, then you can create a unique, unique name there. And step three is you want to select a template. And my suggestion is you keep it simple at first. Or you might want to have a darker background or, you know, work with your backgrounds where you want to have a simple um, template to work from. So we're just going to go back here and we're going to work with one of our uh, blogs that we've already created. Now, in order to post a message, what you want to do is you want to select this orange button here. Okay, now you can view it, view your blog, and you can do a number of things. But the first thing you want to do is you want to, you know, create a message. And so we're just going to select that button there. And we're going to come up to what looks like a Word document. So you'll notice a few things about this, this, um, this page. The one thing you'll note is that you can always view your blog, and you can see that there's a button here for that. You'll all, but one of the things you'll want to pay close attention to is you want to pay close attention to the difference between Compose and HTML. HTML is a page in which your, the script of the web page is contained. The only time you want to maybe use that is when you're trying to embed something or host that host like a video on your actual page. And we'll show you how to do that in a few minutes. So the, the one thing you want to do is you want to make sure that this button here, the Compose button, is selected. The next thing you want to do is you want to also recognize you. You want to title your blog. So you want to make sure that you post your title so people can easily find it. And so we're going to do that right now. We are going to do a new post. Now, we're going to make sure that it's on the Compose, which it is. It's usually a, a darker gray shade. And we're just going to do a new post. And now the last button you want to look for is to Publish. Now, you can preview it if you want to take a quick look at it and see what it looks like on your blog. Or you can publish it. And we're just going to publish that right now. Now, this connects you actually to Google+, Plus, which is similar to Facebook. We're not going to do that right now. You can see that I have a new post title. Here's the title of my post. And I can edit that, or I can delete it, or I can view it. Now, I can go to the blog up here, which is located above. You can see View Blog. And I can select that. And there's my new post right here. And you can see that here's what I had written. Now, if I want to edit that, I can edit that by just selecting my pencil. And it goes back and allows me to edit. Now, let's say that I want to, want to um, place a link onto the blog. I want students to see, watch a video or go to a web page or what have you. 
All I could do is just simply select the word link, which is here. And when I select that word link, a, a window comes up. Now it asks, asks me what text do I want it to be displayed. So I want to just say new post um, link. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste whatever wherever the link is. So if it's in URL or what have you, I can paste it right there. And you can see right there that this is an actual uh, discussion board that we have built in. That's the link to it. Now, when students look at it on the page, you'll only see this right here. They'll only see the new post link, which will be hyperlinked to this page here. We want to make sure that we get all the words out of it that don't that cause it cause it to have an issue. And we want to open the link in a new window. We can also test it. So let's just try that. Now, you can see that's in a poor location. So I simply just um, move this over and then just enter and just move that down a little bit. Now, I'm just going to update my blog or I'm going to view it. So I'm going to update that. I don't want to share it. And I'm just going to view the blog. And you can see that here's my new post link right here. And I'm just going to select that new post link. And there it is. There's our discussion board. Simple as that. So let's see if you. So let's try that right now. Let's try just uh, copy and pasting links into your blogger. All right, let's just re go. We sign in to your blogger page. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our blog, and you can see that I'm selecting the orange pencil. One thing that you might want to do is you might want to add a video. And so we're gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you where we can get how we can embed the video right into your your blog. One of the things that the options you have is you have the HTML option. This allows you to take a YouTube video and post it right onto your, your blog page. So it looks really nice, it looks like a professional blog. So let's try that right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to YouTube, and we're going to just go to YouTube and grab a video that we're familiar with, and let's just search for maybe a con video. All right. Every YouTube video has the ability to share, and we taught you how to uh, embed a link. So that we don't get stumped by the RB So... If you'll notice, this is the link, so you can copy and paste links into your blog, but you can also embed them. You can embed this video, so it, looks, it shows up just like it is here on Khan's, uh, Khan Academy uh, site. You can do that right there. So let's take a look at that. So we're going to select the embed button right here. and we're just going once we select that, we're going to get a, uh, some code. We're going to simply go up to the edit button and we're going to go copy. Now we're going to go back to our blog page. And the one thing that you want to select is you want to select the HTML button when posting now. Otherwise, you just use the compose button. So let's select that. And we're just going to go up, copy, paste. Now, what you're going to do now is you have a title, and this is a kind of anime video. And we're just going to hit publish. And we cancel. There you go. Now, we're going to view the blog. And look at that. That's where the Khan Academy video is right on your page with the title. So you can see that we've taught you how to post a link. We've taught you how to write on the page. And we've taught you how to post a video. Now, let's you try that right now.